What is up guys, Billy Mac here. Before we get into today's adventure, I just want to let you know that I teamed up with Movember here. Um, throughout the month of November, I will pledge to not shave my face um, for uh, mental, men's mental health, men's suicide prevention, uh, testicular cancer, and prostate cancer. And if you want to help me in this journey throughout the month of November, all you have to do is go to my Movember page. Link to all this will be in the description down below. And all you have to do is donate as little as $3. If you have any questions about this, you, you can contact me um, either on the page or in the um, comments down below. But go down, check out this organization, donate, and let's see if we can help raise, let's say, 100 bucks. Let's try to raise 100 bu bucks for the month of November. guys Billy Mac here for another adventure we're here on the Wood River on a road known as Skunk Hill Road and you wouldn't think that this road would have or this area would have much as far as metal pollution and stuff like that in the river until, <laughs> until you see something like this first coming down here first going on this adventure I was very skeptical wasn't sure where I was gonna end up wasn't sure what I was gonna find but I think, I'm hoping, that today, on this dark, cloudy fall day, that we end up with some good finds. Let's set you up and get magnet fishing. Alright, so what we're going to probably do first, is send Old Reliable out and do some searching for us. Now, I will, I will say this, if there is anything that's really, really big, um, I'm going to do what I can to get rid of it. But I didn't bring my saws all today. I didn't bring anything to help me in big stuff like that. So, but I'll be honest with you, I've kayaked this river. I've fished this river. I'm not expecting to find anything big. However, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to find anything big at the Ashway River and I was proven wrong. Much as I love these gloves because they keep your hands warm and they're waterproof, you can't do anything small with them. Alright, Old Reliable, send you out. Do some recon. It's aluminum. There you go. Holy shit, what did I just stick to? It's probably, oh, it's rocks. I think it's rocks.
Feels like a lot of rocks down there. And then it came off. Alright, we might be on something. Let's uh let's attach the claw to this too. Yeah, look at all that metal. Let me get my claw. That's the recording. I just have a funny feeling it's gonna be it's just a big thing that I'm not gonna be able to uh I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it today, unfortunately. And if it is a big thing, I'll do what I have to. I'll contact who I have to to see if they can come pick it up. Whatever it may be. But I just don't want people to think that I'm pulling it out of the river and then dumping it behind, you know. Um, I know some people thought that last time I did a video at a place. I was supposed to have a guy come and scrap, pick, a scrapper come pick it up for me, and he bailed on me. Um, so I'm not trying to harm the environment anymore by pulling the stuff out of the river and leaving it on the bank. I just, I have no way of getting rid of it. However, if, if you or someone you know who's into scrapping or you know you're looking to make a few bucks or whatever the case may be you you want to pick up the stuff up and take it it's it's for yours to take um i just don't have any means of i personally don't have any means of doing it myself For several reasons. One, I don't have a truck. Two, I don't have time to run down to the scrapyard. There's so much stuff going on. It's like right in here. Somewhere. Where the heck was it? Two rocks. Oh, something's starting to move. Oh, that's definitely not a rock. What is that? It's a bike, I bet. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a sandbag. Last time, I'll cut these things open and I'll dump all that sand out. Whew, that stinks. So, is there a lot of sandbags in this area?
Oh wait, there is something there. There's something magnetic there. I can see it moving in the water. What is that? It's a scooter. Ha! Look at that. Lay the fishing line around it. First scooter ever. I've never found a scooter. That's cool. Looks like there's some fishing line right there, around it. Holy cow, what the hell was that? Feel bad for that fisherman. This is, you can see right here, he got caught. Caught right, uh, get off me. Got caught in there, and he was out of fishing for the day. All right. All right, so far so good. Let's keep it up. I thought this was a quiet road. I was wrong. All right, so a couple quick things. One, um, we're wrapping up for the day. I've been out here maybe an hour, hour and a half at the most. And I'm doing that because a couple things. The rubber gloves I was wearing um, and the thumb part, you know, like right, right in there, right in here, where I've been pulling on the rope, acquired um, a cut or two, or a slice in it, and the water's still so really, really cold, and so my hands are getting cold quick. Another reason is it's starting to rain. Um, and I'm not really adhering to much stuff. The good news about this area is that there's not, there doesn't seem to be a lot of metallic stuff in the water, which is great. I mean, people love the rivers in this area, so that's really, really good news. The bad news is there's a lot of trash on the, on the banks. And I might have to come down here and do a trash day where I just pick all this stuff up. Like, God, it's really starting to pick up quick. See all the rain? I don't know if you can see it. God, for, I can't get my camera wet. Um, I found another bottle over there. I found that old that tire rim, that tire tread. I'm going to take that with me because I think that, that can go with me. And if you look over here on this embankment over here, there's a lot of little things, like, I don't know what that is, jewel stuff, I'm guessing cigarettes, e-cigarette stuff. Yeah, it's all down in the embankment down, I don't know if you can see that. All down there, so I'm going to have to come back here one day. Look at all this trash. All right, that, that will probably be something that I do in the future. I right, come down here and just do a trash day. Overall, I don't know if the things that I was sticking to in the river were rocks or if they were um, metal things. I'm gonna have to give this area more of a, a search over more. So let me show you some of my small finds and then I'll get the heck out of here. God, it's raining. So I found that nail while well, magnet fishing. This is left here, so I'm going to take that with me. I found the scooter. I'll take that for the scrap. And the sandbag, if I can find my knife, I'm going to untie it. 
and uh, dump all the sand out. Actually, I'm gonna have to do that when the camera's off because it is really rain, it's starting to rain now. My back of my trunk is open in my car. My camera's just covered in water. I am gonna take that tire with me. I yeah, can too, I'll just get rid of that, I'll throw that in the dump. But there's, you can see there's some trash in there. Yeah, we're gonna do a trash day here. All right guys, I'm sorry to wrap this up kinda quick, but it is starting to rain. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget this video a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, keep dry, and I'll catch you on the next adventure. See ya. Whoa, don't hit my car. Let's go try the other side of the bridge.